Hello everyone, Colorado to Wait here. Today I'm back with another Pixel Cut 3D video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 weapons that are now back to normal in the Pixel Cut 3D. About a week ago, I posted a video called Top 10 Weapons We Missed in Pixel Cut 3D, and uh, a, few, a few days later, an update came out where the combat system has been removed and the system where we had stars in Pixel Gun 3D has been back into the game. Now, in this new update, 15.1.2, pretty much every weapon that was in the game before the combat system came out uh, in February 2017 is back to normal to where it was before, before the combat system was in the game. Now, um, weapons that won't be on this list, um, like the Secret Forces Rifle, I'm not going to put stuff, stuff like that on the list because they're not too much different uh, compared to the combat system weapons, so yeah. So I'm just going to put weapons on the list that actually make a major change in this game. So yeah, um, for the light goal, let's try to hit 150 likes, I know you guys can do it, just to show that these weapons are now in the game again and you guys can use them again. So yeah, let's get on to the first weapon on this list. The first weapon on this list is the Automatic Peacemaker. This also goes for the Champion Peacemaker as well. The Automatic Peacemaker, back when, back maybe in 2015, this thing had the highest capacity in Pixel Gun 3D. Back um, in February 2015, or no, 2018, when the combat system came out, they actually nerfed capacity to 100. But in this new update, the capacity has now been brought back up to 175. The Champion Peacemaker also has 150 pet capacity as well. With that weapon also having 100 in the last update as well. This is great news since the Automatic Peacemaker has been the weapon known to have the highest capacity, but it didn't really make sense that really soft actually reduced the, pass the capacity to 100. So I'm glad that they brought back the capacity to 175. And this weapon is not too bad as well. You can easily get kills with it. It's not too underpowered as well. It's easy to get kills with and same with the Champion Peacemaker. Now the next weapon on this list is the Death Star. The Death Star was also known again that cost the coins and it was a 4 shot kill. That 4 shot kill is now back in 15.1.2. It's definitely a really good backup weapon now. This also goes for the Monster Blaster as well as the Reskin. And this weapon, you can easily get kills with it. It's definitely back to where it was back in 2016 when it came out. It's definitely the weapon a lot of people loved in the game. It kind of it kind of saddened a lot of people that this weapon they can nerf, but now it's buffed again to being a really good weapon in the game. Definitely a really good weapon, and definitely one of the better ones in the game in the backup section. Now the next weapon on this list is the Exterminator. If you guys do remember, in, the, in February, March 2018, this weapon was nerfed to a 3 shot headshot, which is completely really, really underpowered. But in the most recent update, the Exterminator has been buffed again to a one-shot kill again, where it used to be in 2015 when it first was released in the game. Uh, yeah, this weapon was really underpowered in uh, when the combat system was in effect of Pixel Gun 3D. And uh, it nerfed a lot of weapons, especially this one, since this weapon became one of the more underpowered weapons. And now it's like one of the more OP weapons now. It's only a one-shot headshot, or a one-shot most of the time, so you really gotta get those headshots probably. Uh, I don't know if headshots actually do anything anymore, so... Yeah, it probably takes a one-shot headshot and not a body shot, which is something else that's been changed as well. So, uh, yeah, um, Exterminator, definitely the weapon to go. Uh, a lot of sniper spammers can use this weapon again. They always have to use the Thunder to actually get a one-shot with their backup weapon. So you can use the Exterminator again. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Exterminator. I'm doing really bad in this gameplay, but if you use this weapon yourself, it's easier to actually get kills that I am doing right now. The next weapon on this list is the Oral Pistol, this thing. Uh, in the in the second the most recent update back at 15.0, this thing was a really really overpowered weapon. This thing took almost a one shot to actually kill someone. Uh, if you fully charge it, this thing will always almost kill someone whenever you actually uh, use the weapon. Um, it was a really annoying weapon back then. But in the most recent update, this weapon has been uh, back to what it was originally was. This thing is like a three or four shot to take someone out. And uh, definitely makes a lot of people happy. This weapon was a really spammy weapon that people use with their jetpack. And uh, yeah, it's current nerf to back to where it was before, back to normal. And uh, as this is a change I definitely like more than other people. I hated this weapon more than most other weapons in this game. So yeah, um, I'm going to try to get a kill with it in this video. I can't do it right now. But so yeah, it's a, it's a lot more difficult than it was before. And in the last update... Definitely a lot more difficult because um, you just gotta aim like below where the player is actually uh, standing, and you can easily get the kill. As you guys see here, I hit the guy twice. In the last update, that guy should be dead. I know this guy as well, but 
see, actually I saw there, it took a lot longer just to kill that one player there. And but yeah, it's pretty much it for this order of this game. Next weapon on our list is the Power of Fist. This thing um, was the best melee weapon in the last update. This thing was a one-shot kill. Even with the fast fire it has right here, um, this is how fast it fires. This thing was a one-shot kill back then. And uh, yeah, it's back to a three-shot headshot when this weapon was first released in the game back in November 2017. Definitely really good. I can't... This match is really crazy, but yeah, this weapon was a one-shot kill. Pretty much every time, and this thing's a three shot headshot now, so that's good. Definitely, uh, a really uh, something that needed to be changed because this thing was way too OP, like way too OP. You could easily get kills like left and right, especially in knife party. This thing will dominate in this mode, but it is fixed now, it's back to normal, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a weapon that a lot of people could deal with now. Next weapon on my list is the pet dragon. Now, the Pet Dragon used to be one of the spammy weapons in 2017. Uh, this thing was super nerfed when the combat system was ineffective in this game, but uh, now you can easily get kills with it. You just gotta be really good at aiming with it, and you can easily get kills with it. It takes a lot less shots to kill compared to the last update. It took maybe 30 or 40 shots to kill with the Pet Dragon. Used to be the worst flamethrower, but uh, yeah, you can actually get a lot of kills with it now. Hopefully, I can in this video. Come on now. Okay. But yeah, Pet Dragon, um, a weapon that a lot of people loved is back in the game, so you can use it again. Definitely something that makes, I guess it makes me happy. I did, I never really cared about the Pet Dragon that much. As you guys see there, I got a kill right there. It took a lot less shots than it's, it's supposed to, I guess. There you go, got another kill right there. It's a lot easier now. Definitely a lot easier to get kills with the Pet Dragon. The next weapon on this list is the Laser Bouncer. This thing is also a one-shot headshot back in 2017 i'm pretty sure not that's not what the weapon came out it came out in 2016 this weapon used to be always one to be the crazier weapons in this game always one shotting people left and right and uh, they didn't nerf it in the last update to a three shot kill or something like that it was kind of ridiculous how underpowered this thing was but now this thing's a one shot headshot again so you can easily get kills like this let's see if i can get this guy here no i cannot nope uh -uh. but yeah this weapon uh definitely back to where it was before Luckily, this weapon is good again, because a lot of people have really ignored this weapon, and people have to use a reflector over this one. So yeah, it's definitely back to where it is, back to where it was before. The next weapon on my list is the Prototype, uh, a weapon that mostly defines Pixel Gun 3D, not really defines it, but this weapon is one of the weapons that is well known in the community. This thing is a one-shot headshot pretty much ever since 2014. This weapon is extremely popular in the game back then. Uh, in the last update, they ner nerfed it into a three-shot kill. It was kind of ridiculous how underpowered it was. It took three headshots to take someone out with the prototype. But uh, now you can easily get back to where you were starting with this weapon. As you see here, it's a lot easier to kill people with this weapon. It used to be really underpowered, but now it's not. Look at that. That's easy kills right there. I also forgot to mention that this weapon used to have four bullets. Now it has six bullets like it did before. Next weapon on this list is the anti hero rifle. This swing um, was like the prototype, is a lot like this prototype. Takes one headshot to kill. This thing is also arguably my favorite weapon in this game. Used it for a very long time. I get, get kind of sad when they nerfed it in the last update, but it's back now, so you can easily get kills with it. It's a lot like the prototype. It's nothing super special compared to the other weapons on this list, like the exterminator and the laser bouncer. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a weapon you can use now. It takes one headshot to kill. Definitely pretty good, I would say. Easy kill right there. Come on. Okay, yeah, you can, I'm actually kind of failing compared to this whole video, but yeah, it's a one shot headshot. You have to believe me. Can I please get this guy? Okay, it's alright. I can deal with that, I guess. Uh, easy one shot headshot right there. Definitely takes it's back to where it was before. Last weapon on my list is the Ghost Lantern. Now, before you say this thing's OP, this thing is not as OP as it was back in 2016 when it first came out. You used to you were used to spam this weapon like five times in a row, like you could be able to shoot five ghosts before actually uh, letting go with the weapon. But you have to fire like one ghost at a time. But it is a one shot kill again, so a lot of people. I guess miss this weapon, um, the soul stone has to be used over this weapon, but now you can easily get kills with the ghost lantern, and it's a one shot kill again, and um, it wasn't, it's not as OP as it was in 2016, but it's a one shot headshot again, so 
yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Try to get 150 likes, like I said at the beginning. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.